Hello and welcome back. Let's do a proof. We are given in the figure below prove that M is parallel to N. So that would be these two lines. We need to prove that they are parallel given some information in a diagram. So we can see we have a few measures and we have a couple of labeled angles. If we could show a relationship between angles A and B that can only exist if M and N were parallel, and then we're done. So let's take our time. Let's have a look here. Well, no matter whether we have parallel lines or not, if we just have a single line and at least two angles, we know that the sum will be 180. So we know the measure of angle A then is 180 minus 138, which is 42 degrees. We can see that these are vertical angles. So this is also equal to the measure of angle A and then here and here, vertical angles. So this is also 138. Same idea here and here is that the sum of those two angles must be 180. So that means that this is 138 degrees. These are vertical angles. So this one is 138 degrees. These are vertical angles. So we know that this is the case and that this is the case. And look at this. Those are equal to each other. And they are alternate interior angles. So it must be the case that these lines are parallel. It's part of the parallel postulate. Okay, so how will we write that in our proof? Well, let's start with how we got A. Linear pairs form supplementary angles. So measure of angle A plus 138 degrees equals 180 degrees. Linear pairs form supplementary angles. And let's also note how we got B. Well, because there were vertical angles. Vertical angles are equal in measure. So then the measure of angle A was 42 degrees, right? Because we did 180 minus 138. Let's also write that down. That was by the subtraction property of equality. Oh, I should have, I should be consistent here. Well, if this is equal to something and this is equal to that same something, then it must be the case that these are equivalent to each other. You can say that that's true by transitivity. We could also just use substitution because if 42 is equal to this, then that means I can put this here. Let's go with that. By substitution, we have the measure of angle A 
equal to the measure of angle B therefore M must be parallel to N because we have to write all this out if two lines are cut by a transversal such that a pair of alternate interior angles are equal in measure then the lines are parallel.